What's good, buddy? My name's Chris, and welcome back to the episode of Smash! Fake and hollow. Who else do I know who fits that description? Yeah! Fuck off, Rachel. That's it. I won't knock the entire thing over. You can smash it more. Box of jam. Ooh, a camera! No! I've never understood your hard on for cameras, Max. You took a million pictures of us, and not one of them showed that you were gonna leave when I needed you most. I thought our fault! Fuck cameras. I mean, it's her fault for not texting or trying to be your friend anymore. Uh, uh, oh, that was awesome. Uh, we oh no! I probably could have gone up there, right? Left graffiti, maybe? I guess this is a yeah. weird time for graffiti. Yeah! Paint splatter. I can! <laughs> Face your anger. What is it? My hand doesn't have paint on it. Ooh! Nice. Cool. Our journal. The old car. David shit. Damn it, we missed one. Damn, we missed one! So Rachel's gotta come back, right? Good. Stuff is like... Interesting. Uh... Uh-oh, David's toolbox! Not three space! Smash, 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 smash. rip a family apart from the inside, it's important to bring the proper tools. Fuck you, David. Ah! There's like stuff in there. Just throw a toolbox with tools in it still. Shit. It's time for the smash more things. So it's almost night time. How am I gonna get home? I'm just gonna sleep in the graveyard? Oh, is it a dead body? Is it a dead body we, we, we saw a thing about? Dad. What? Oh, it was old car. Oh shit, that sucks. Oh no, that's real sad. This is all part of Rachel's plan. She's evil. She wanted us to come here, see her dad's old car. Get yeah, very sad. Oh, what if it was? What if she was like a Victoria. Victoria Chase? That was her last name, right? Victoria something. She's like evil all along. Also, would you really recognize your old car like that? I feel like I wouldn't. I wouldn't have if I was in this scenario. Smash, I guess. Bus in the background. If you look to your right, you'll see a crazy girl living in the garbage tub. Smashing a old car. The car is there, hasn't run in millions of years. It's not gonna start today. Is this the end? Did I start the episode at a very weird spot? I sure did. Well then. Ooh. That's all I know. Some loading screen, like the, the game flashes. Yeah, that's not probably supposed to happen. Uh oh. I just called to tell you that I miss you, my old friend. 
Why are you crying, sweetheart? <coughs> it's the raven. Because you're not real. <laughs> I'm not. What is going on? Cool. I guess I did that. Why is it here? Like, go away. Kiddo, look on the bright side, would ya? What bright side? You made a new friend today. And I'm gonna hit her! Ah! Kind of made a new friend, I guess. We're all for friends still. I mean, she literally did say she doesn't want to be my friend. I don't feel drunk. She had like one sip. <laughs> Gotta say, that was some fight. <laughs> she nearly took your head off. Guess there's no way to avoid that fight, was there? Oh, we already did this, we already passed her. Oh, she's looking at that tree. What do you care? Sorry, sweetheart. I guess I'm getting into your personal business. What's past is prologue and Raven. shit. Ravens are now. Sometimes people need you, though. Even when they don't admit it. Is she gonna be there when I wake up? Choo-choo train? Oh, she doesn't have a pupil. Confirm for Satan. This is some interesting. Rachel. Cool. So it seems like Chloe also has some weird flashes. Like it's very similar to Max. Oh, that seems like a bad idea. What if there's like glass shards in there? That seems like a terrible idea. Think this through, Max. Think it through. Smash? <laughs> Press S to smash? Like love you, Dad, or something on this car. Aww. Right? Nope, Raven. Interesting that a lot of this game, very centered around the train tracks. Very beginning of the game, we're staying on train tracks. I wonder what that could symbolize. Because, you know, it'll probably mean something. The game like this. Chirp, chirp, chirp. There's that lonely oak we saw. Oh, she is standing here. Oh, is that thunder? That, that lightning strike you talked about too. Cool. Is that, is that the butt rot? <laughs> Hello. Why are you still here? You came. I'm glad. Oh. I guess so. Are you sure about that? I got kind of a different message this afternoon. Yeah. What is what is wrong with you? I want to talk to you about something, but <laughs> I am your dad. I don't know how to talk about this. You don't have to tell me anything you don't want to. You remember that guy that we saw under this tree with that woman? Ex-boyfriend. The ones who okay. were making out. Maybe ex-boyfriend. That was my dad. Oh. oh. All right. And that woman 
was definitely not my mom. Holy shit, I did not see that one coming. Oh, I thought I was just gonna be like- The worst part is- <laughs> Wow. I'm not surprised. I felt like my dad's been lying about something for a while. I just... I didn't know what it was. So when I saw he got a text from an unknown number asking him to meet, I thought I thought I could catch him or something. So you brought me into this? I'm so sorry, Rachel. I don't... I don't know what to say. So why did you bring Neither me? do I. Chloe... I love my dad. At least you have a dad, I damn love it. Him. And I never want to see his fucking face again. I thought maybe he just. My dad died. She had a bad breakup or something. I was so mad at him. For months, I felt wrong because half the time I thought of him, I wanted to scream. And the other half, I forgot. Forgot that anything had changed. It's silly, but I've carried this photo around with me for years. It's from Mount Hood. <clears throat> my dad took me hiking there when I was 10 and it started raining and I fell and broke my arm three miles from the car. I remember screaming like I was gonna die, but my dad, he carried me down the mountain. I still remember the smell of his coat and how calm he was and the sound of his voice and... Truck for sure, I guess. All right, she's face. He was just so strong, you know? I, I felt safe. I mean... No one's safe. I trust him. You trusted him. Completely. Here. Chloe, I owe you an apology. Hey, we were both kind of the queen of shitty. No, I mean it. Whatever's going on between us, it's intense and new and awesome and maybe you just see it as a friendship i don't know Thank you. but i put you on the yeah. spot and i could have handled that better i'm sorry rachel after the day you've had it's okay i i mean it we have all the time in the world to figure out whatever this is I just want you to know I'm lucky that you were with me today. I guess it's just I don't know talk you a whole lot. You're a badass, Chloe Price. But I'm, what? Remember that biker asshole who wouldn't let you into the mill? You talked your way right past him. You saw that? And those skeevy douchebags who followed you upstairs? You dropped that one guy with a bottle to the <laughs> face. Only because you showed up at the last minute and what about Drew? When he was picking on Nathan? How'd you see that? You got right in his face and called him out. Stop talking to me! That was pretty sweet, actually. <laughs> see? You're the real thing, Chloe. I don't know anyone like you. Plus, you came along with me, no questions asked. Well, I don't really need a good reason to ditch school. <laughs> Uh, I guess tomorrow there'll be hell to pay. Probably. My mom might skip grounding and just go straight to the death penalty. Well, let's not go and home. my dad will definitely punish me with... With what? I'm so sorry, Rachel. Fuck him. Okay, I was gonna and say I that, but... to leave this place and never look back. It's like, you know, maybe you shouldn't What's say that. What's stopping us? <laughs> us? Are you serious? There's nothing keeping <clears throat> me here. Not anymore. So, if I came to you tomorrow and told you to pack your bags... I'm serious. Let's do it, Chloe. Let's leave this place forever. This is weird and fast. Okay. Okay. So, obviously something's gonna stop us. 
Alright, I guess I, uh... I don't know, just... It feels real off about this, still. I mean, I guess not! I mean, pretty much, she's explained to us why... Can I borrow happened. your lighter? Oh, use my shirt. My shirt is a lighter. Thank you. Oh, this might end badly. I don't know. I kind of disagree with burning photographs regardless of how shitty the memories might be. Oh no, this is going to end badly, isn't it? The Great Arcadia Bay, Arcadia Bay Forest Fire, 2017-2010. Kind of looks like a cool torch, though. Come on. No, 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 no! You idiots! Whoa! She just flew through a dog! Flew through a dog! Um, God, I, I think it's time to run. Fuck that 450 year old tree, I guess. She's actually controlling the wind, I think. Um. Yeah, we should leave. This sports fight is gonna kill us all. Yep, that's spreading. That's sure spreading, all right. Jesus Christ. All right, uh, Rachel's a bit unhinged. Where's that raven? Well, I guess this place is about to burn down. Yes, Frank's about to die. Just kidding. I guess it was Frank's capital, wasn't it? Oh, why, why is it running on the car in the street? That seems a bit foolish when you have a driveway. <laughs> God damn it. Same suit. Why are you sitting there? Why are you smiling? She is Satan herself, maybe. Life has changed before the storm. Okay, I like I've said I don't know if like the other two episodes are released. So I'm really curious to see. Achievement unlocked, awaken to your heart. So one awake. Wow, Deck Nine Games. Um, this series makes me very sad. I have like this weirdly like, empty pit feeling in my stomach, especially with this game. Like the first game, not so much as far as I remember. I think it did miss, make me miss like high school a little bit though. But uh, I don't know. Just like it doesn't like for the past like like three or four episodes. Like it really started like hit on me kind of heavy. I was like, I, and this game makes me feel so sad, but I love it so much! Sometimes it's good to feel sad, you know? Sometimes you just need that sadness to uh, make you feel sad. And I'm also praying that these recordings went well, since I did record this all in one go, and like I said, my recording settings have been kind of off and on. I believe I found a thing that works, but I'm always kind of horrified when I do try new settings because I've, I've literally recorded like an eight hour game before, like I recorded for eight hours only to find out, oh, all my footage is corrupted and I had to delete everything. Rip that day. Um, but I don't know, like, I, I love, I love the storytelling. I know, I, I should actually look more into like Square Enix games because I, I know obviously they do Final Fantasy, right? And I would love to do Final Fantasy stuff on my channel one day. Um, but yeah, I don't know, just... 
special thanks. My thank you to all the amazing developers that don't know. Um, so, it's also kind of weird that uh, <clears throat> that they went back to like the Chloe and um, Ma well, not Max, but like apparently they were gonna leave Arcadia Bay after the first game because like, well, they feel like this that story was complete. They don't want to mess with it. But here we are. <laughs> But, you know, at least we're on, like, you get to see Chloe's side of everything. And it is very different. Like, um... It, it is, like, you know, very different because it's Chloe's perspective of things before Max ever came back. This is so sad that, um, Chloe's running her entire diary towards Max. It's like, oh. Like I said, I can kind of relate to that a bit as well because there's, like, I have a very good friend that I probably don't talk to as much as I should that's always trying to, like, you know, set things up with me. But it's like, I don't know. It's hard sometimes, you know? Sometimes you just don't feel like it. Sometimes you feel like you're just too different from them these days. Um, so it's weird how much I do relate. And I've always been a fan of like punk pop as well. It's always been like my favorite music. So it's like, you know, I do kind of relate to this game a lot. It's weird because I don't really feel like I have a lot of teenage angst. But, you know, here I am. Sitting here. Like, not on the edge of tears, but like, you know, I definitely feel like a pang of sadness in my heart. My heart hangeth sadly. <laughs> Whatever that means. Um, thank you guys so much for watching. I guess we'll wait till the end of the credits here, and uh, if episode 2 is released, I guess you guys will see more of this real soon. Uh, if it isn't released, then I guess we'll return in like a month or two, whenever episode 2 comes out. Kind of sad there was only 3, there was 5 in the in the um, first game. It's nice to get through the first episode though since, you know, obviously this is a big setup and then the next two will be fully on like pushing more of the plot forward, I guess. Wow. Um, what else? It's kind of interesting since you don't take pictures anymore, you're not doing graffiti stuff, which fits very well. I was very curious about that. It's also, yeah, the one thing that doesn't really fit very well is Chloe writing a diary. That I kind of don't buy. That feels a bit off, especially with the same style as Max. Clay doesn't really seem that artsy in that sense, I guess, to do a diary. I don't know. But hey, I mean, it's good backstory. And uh, it's real nice. I don't know. At Square Enix, they, they tell a good story. Telltale is kind of like the, the the head champions of like writing stories, at least for a lot of people. But I do think Square Enix, like, especially with these games, have done way better. I don't know. Maybe I should check out. I don't know if they do anything besides Final Fantasy. I know they used to. I don't know if they still do these days. Are they not Kingdom Hearts as well? I think so. That I would also be interesting. At least the first one. I, I think those games go downhill eventually. <sighs> Hopefully we'll get to these soon. Though, because I'm kind of running out of stuff to talk about. Who else? Rachel's kind of weird. And I kind of don't necessarily buy her wanting to be all of a sudden... Chris Kiki Key. <laughs> Interesting name. Kind of, I really don't kind of really buy her wanting to be best friends with Chloe all the time, because that's kind of weird. But at the same time, I do understand, like, why, you know, you're at, like, a concert, and I can relate to this as well. Like, I went to a concert, I saw people that I knew in high school, but I didn't, like, know them very well, but, you know, we have a mutual interest of the band I saw, which was a date I remember, and then, you know, we connected through that, which is really cool, and, um, you know, for that night, I was, like, really good friends with them. Um, so I guess that's why Rachel is kind of interested in Chloe. It's kind of weird that she's kind of seeing everything I'm doing. Um, the Raven connections between Chloe and, uh, and the Raven, I guess. Um, those are very interesting. That You know, it's an obvious Max was a deer in the first game. Oh wait, she was... In the first game, um, Chloe was a butterfly. I wonder if... I wonder if the, the Raven indicates maybe, um... Rachel then. Unless now Chloe is now a raven. Maybe she turns into a butterfly later on. I don't know. Who knows? It's hard to say. Uh, what else? I mean, Rachel's really cool. It is really nice to like, learn about the friendship between them two. I can't imagine what the hell they would do between you know, once this season's over and the next time they jump to this universe. Which I do hope they do more of this game. You know, this is only one of three. I'm already feeling sad that, you know, this will come to an end rather soon. I don't know. I love these. I love these kind of games. I love these, like, kind of slice of life, but also weird, kind of supernatural stuff in it sometimes. I guess that was more of the first game. But, uh, I don't know. Something definitely felt like was going on with Rachel. Whenever she'd scream, the wind would blow out the tree. So, 
I don't know, maybe she is the Dragonborn. Foos for dog, etc. Uh, who knows? It's, it's kind of cool seeing a lot of like, the old characters again, but also like some of them. Like, I don't recognize the D&D people. Maybe I just don't remember them? But I don't think they're in the, the, the first game. As well as like, you know, a few others I don't remember. I guess it's possible some of our seniors have graduated, but I don't think so. I'm very interested to see though. I wonder if Chloe at the end of episode 3 is going to have her dyed blue hair. I wonder if she's going to have her truck. Uh, what else? I guess her other like black holes. She draws like a portal to another dimension or that stuff's going to start popping up. I wonder if like the end of episode 3 is when uh, Rachel's going to disappear. Or maybe it's, she's going to disappear in like episode 2 and episode 3 is going to be our attempt at trying to find her. Who knows, maybe <clears throat> episode 3 will end with uh, Chloe like running to Max for the first time. That'd be kind of cool. That'd be kind of a cool like end to it and connect the stories right up to each other. Actually, I would be kind of surprised if they didn't do that. That seems like kind of like the right thing to do, right? I like how I was worried about uh, this episode being like 5 minutes long, but now we're at 26 minutes and we're still going. <laughs> well, it looks like whenever you start seeing the logos, you know, you're at the end of the credits, so... But yeah love these games. I understand why these aren't email. Just there's an email there. Um, I, I, even though, like, I know these games are for everyone. It's kind of like interactive movies almost, but I love this so much. I love the story, I love the depth, I love the world building. And, uh, I look forward to playing more of this as soon as it comes out. Hopefully without uh, being late next time. <laughs> I applied the plays as soon as it came out, and I kind of forgot that it had come out. And it wasn't until I saw a Let's Play of it that I was like, oh shit, I should probably... Well, I didn't watch Let's Play, it popped up in my sub box to uh, Vintage Beef is someone I watch. And I didn't watch it, but, you know, the fact it popped up, I was like, oh shit, I forgot this was coming out in a few days. I believe this was announced during... Uh, it was announced during E3, I remember that. Is there a next on? Really? Interesting. Um, you attack. You, you, I defend. You protect. You were kind of joy, sixty-one percent. You defeated, defended Nathan, eighty-eight percent. Told Rachel you are more than friends. You told Rachel you are just friends. I mean, I don't know. It felt a little bit weird. like I said, this is like the very first time we hung out. It felt weird to say we're more than friends, but I mean, if that's the way the story is supposed to be going, then it looks like it's kind of just going that way anyway. So, um, what's this next? See, are there any friend stats? Nope, no one else in my friends list will play this. Okay. You took the money, 47%. Woo, more people didn't. Looks like there hasn't been anything bad about that yet. wonder if that just paid off by putting it in our mom's purse. But I kind of expected that to bite us in the ass later. Purchase pot from Frank? You didn't purchase pot from... Oh, I see. Oh, I didn't even realize we could do that. Okay, well, that's... Okay. You added Joyce's self-help book. You put a photo of William in the dre on the dresser. Is that money in the Joyce's purse? 3%? Wow! Wait, how many people purchased? Wow, I mean, that's 39% missed the opportunity to put the money in Joyce's purse. What else could we have done with the money? You told Elliot you would go to the play with him, 73%. You told Skip you liked his demo. Of course, you told Skip his demo was just okay. You didn't listen to Skip's demo. Yeah, why would you tell him it was just okay? That's rude. You finished a tabletop game with Steph and Mikey, 77%. Yeah, I, I'm actually kind of surprised it's as high as it is. You'd think a lot of people would, like, get bored of it. Sabotage Victoria's homework, 48%. Wow, that's pretty 50-50. Um, you told Rachel... Uh, you told Rachel falling in love is stupid. Yeah. You shared your butts with Rachel. One percent did it. Why would you not? You jumped out of the train. You didn't jump on the train. I wonder what happened if you didn't do that. Let's exit. <gasps> yes, next on. <sighs> Shit. No one steals from me. Oh my god. I want my fucking money. All right, well, I guess uh, that did. Unless next episode coming soon. Okay, so it is in a play collector mode and complete your graffiti collection. <laughs> cool. So what does that mean? Oh god. My mouse is gone. One out of one. Zero out of one. Dream. I don't know why I knew somebody's already seen the dream. I can take I can do a graffiti in a dream? The hell? 
Anyways, thank you guys so much for watching. I enjoyed this a lot. I don't expect I'll get a whole lot of views on this, but it's still very nice to play. Thank you to anyone that stuck out to the end. Um, 30 minute episode, wow. <laughs> I'll play episode 2 as soon as it comes out. You guys are awesome. I'll see you guys next time. Goodbye!